So you've brought home that new cat or kitten, and you realize, hold on a second, I can't take this thing out to use the bathroom. How, how am I going to get it to use a litter box? Let's investigate. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Holmes, and welcome to another episode of Pet Doc Sherlock where we help people solve the mysteries of pets. And today we're going to look at something regarding cats that's seen by some as a positive and others as a negative, and that's how cats use the bathroom. Now, it's no secret that most people who have cats have a litter box in their home, and that's where their cat goes and uses the bathroom. Now, some see that as completely disgusting and gross, that you have this pet that goes to the bathroom on purpose inside your home. Now, for others that's seen as a good thing, take for example people who live in really busy cities or in high-rise condominiums, it's quite a challenge to take a dog in and out three times a day to use the bathroom, let alone find somewhere once you're outside for your dog to use the bathroom. So, having a cat in a litter box is actually more convenient and simple. So, today we're going to look at how you can set yourself up for success with a litter box and the right type of litter, and how this can be actually not a gross thing, but a clean way to have a pet, have a good relationship with that pet, and set yourself up for success with litter boxes. So, let's take a look. So, the first thing to think about is what size and shape of litter box are you going to get? You want to make sure it's big enough to fit your entire cat. Now, at the beginning, when they're a little kitten, that's pretty easy, but some cats get really, really big, like Maine Coons. Other cats stay decently small and don't get past five or six pounds. So, you want a box that they can use early on and as they get bigger. The other thing to think about is, is this an open box or a closed box? And there's advantages and disadvantages to both. So, the closed box is really convenient for us as people because it hides everything that your cat is doing. It also disguises the smell by keeping it enclosed in that little box. The negative to those is that some cats don't really prefer to go in and out of a door and use the bathroom in a closed space. They'd rather be able to see what's coming and look around them, or they need more space to get situated. Some of those boxes aren't tall enough for your cat to get in a comfortable position to use the bathroom. So, it is a great option and something worth trying when they're younger to get them used to that so that you have an enclosed area that reduces the smell and reduces the visibility of where your cat uses the bathroom. For my cats, they chose to use an open litter box. This is basically just a plastic pan that you sprinkle litter into and they just hop in, use the bathroom, and hop right back out. Lots of cats prefer this because they can look around, they know what's around them, they can see things coming, they have a lot of room to move around and get situated, and the only negative is you have to clean it a little more often to reduce the smell in that particular area where the litter box is. There's another type of litter box, it's kind of connected to the enclosed ones, that's an automated cleaning litter box. There are some open versions as well, but the concept is your cat hops into the litter box, does its business, hops out, and that litter box senses that your cat was there. Soon after your cat leaves, it has an automatic rake that goes through and pulls any clumps that are in there out and dumps it into a bin, either below the litter box or in the front of the litter box. Now, these are really convenient for you as the owner, and they save on cleaning time, they keep the odor down, and so it's a really nice feature to have. They are a little bit more expensive, and the other thing to consider when you're looking at these types of litter boxes is if your cat's around when that litter box goes off, 
the sound may be enough to spook them and make them not want to return there and use the bathroom. So uh, it's something to be aware of, and it's definitely worth trying, but just know that if your cat starts using the bathroom elsewhere, it might be because the automatic litter box got triggered when they were around. And so you may want to have a normal, non-automatic cleaning litter box nearby just as a backup in case that does happen. So now that we've looked at the type of litter box, Let's move on and look at what we should put in that litter box to encourage our cat to use it. What you fill a litter box with is, obviously, litter. But what some people don't know is there's a lot of different types of litter out there. And cats can be finicky, picky creatures, and so you need to find the right one that works both for you and your cat. The most common type of litter is a clay-based litter. It's, it's kind of like sand or really loose dirt, which works great for cats because that's what they would look for outside. They're going to look for the mulch in your flower beds, the loose dirt in your vegetable garden, the sort of soft sandy spots like sandboxes for kids. Always keep your sandboxes closed or else you will find that a neighborhood cat has been there not that long ago. But anyway, the clay litters are really ideal because they mimic that which cats look for naturally. And when moisture hits the clay, it clumps up, and so it's really easy to clean. Now, if your cat has a particular condition, say there's particular skin conditions with their paws that cause open sores, or your cat may have asthma, which is actually a fairly common issue with cats, then clay litters may not be ideal because they clump when they hit moisture, which would be an issue if there's any wounds on the paw, and they're really dry, and so they have some dust. And if your cat has asthma, it can induce an asthma attack. Now, they do make low dust formulas, but even then, if your cat's particularly sensitive, then you may want to try a different type of litter. The other thing is there's a lot of different clay-based litters out there, like Tidy Cats, Fresh Step are probably the most common, but lots of them have different scents in them, and that can actually turn your cat away from the litter box. So it's appealing to us because it keeps that area smelling pretty fresh and clean, but it might be a little overwhelming for your cat and they may not be inclined to go there. If your cat has one of those conditions, or if your cat decides, I don't particularly care,